Haunted Henry. This is a story based on the TV series episode from series 5, illustrated by Robert Davies. This is a story about Henry who said he didn't believe in ghosts, but one misty autumn night, some spooky things began to happen that Henry couldn't explain. You can read along the story with me. You'll know when it's time to turn the page when you hear the spooky music, like this. <laughs> Let's begin. It was a moonlit autumn night on the island of Sodor. The Fat Controller had gave Henry and Edward special jobs to do. Henry's job was to take a goods train along the old line. As they waited for their trains, the engines heard the hoot of an owl. There's a legend that when that old owl hoots, a mist rolls in, said Edward. They say it brings the ghost of a fogman who got lost in the mist long ago and was never found. I don't believe in ghosts, Henry snorted with a huff of steam. Don't you have enough to do without scaring yourself with silly stories? But as Henry steamed off with his goods train, he couldn't help thinking about Edward's story. How's missed ghost, he grumbled to himself. Edward's going soft in the boiler. There's no mist tonight. But Henry was wrong. As they trudged down the old line, a thick blank of mist settled over the rails. He could hardly see anything but the dark and spooky trees on each side of him. Through the mist, Henry saw a dim glow ahead. What's that? He asked fearfully. It's an amber lamp, his driver said as they got closer. It's a warning for us to be careful. Henry crept slowly forwards. He soon came to a tree with a sign that read, Beware the viaduct. Strange, said his driver. There's a fogman's coat hanging near that red signal. Who's there? he called. But no one answered. Did Edward say the ghost was a fogman? Henry puffed nervously. But you don't believe in ghosts, Henry, his fireman teased. Shall we go back to the yard? Henry didn't answer. He just steamed away as fast as his wheels would carry him. By the next morning, the mist had cleared. A workman reported to Henry's driver that the viaduct was unsafe and being repaired. Lucky that we didn't cross it last night, puffed Henry. Yes, but... We still don't know who lit the amber lamp as a warning, said his driver. But Henry knew who had done it. The ghost. And when he learned that he was to take another train over the viaduct that very night, Henry's wheels whirred with worry. <laughs> Just then, Thomas puffed into the yard. Henry told him about the legend. 
and the spooky things he had seen the night before. Rubbish! Thomas laughed cheekily. Everyone knows there's no such things as ghosts. You weren't there, Henry puffed with a shriek. If you're so sure, why don't you take my train down the old line tonight? No, uh, thank you, Thomas puffed back in a way. I've got a busy day tomorrow and uh, I need my rest. And he wheezed away as fast as he could. By nightfall, Henry's firebox was sizzling nicely, but he was still worried. As he waited for his driver, he heard the owl hoot again. And when Gordon raced past like a clap of thunder, Henry almost jumped off the rails. Oh look, Henry spooked. Laughed a truck rudely. The other trucks giggled. Scared the engine. Scared the engine. I'm not scared, said Henry bravely. But it wasn't really true. As Henry shunted his train down the old line, the mists returned, thicker than the night before. Once again he saw the amber light glowing through the gloom. Here we go again, his driver said. Steady now. The warning sign was still there on the tree. There's the fogman's coat again, Henry gasped as he rode forwards inch by inch. The trucks had stopped laughing. Now they were as scared as Henry. Suddenly, the signal ahead went red and the gates closed shut by themselves. A light flickered in the old station house and a mysterious figure appeared at the window. A ghost! A ghost! cried the trucks. Faster! Faster! The frightened trucks jumped down the line and crashed through the gate, taking Henry with him. Stop! Stop! shouted Henry, but the trucks sped on. Up ahead, Henry saw that a landslide of rocks had fell onto the rails. He had to stop. Henry's driver applied the brakes so hard that they screeched. Henry managed to stop the train just in time to avoid a crash. <sighs> well done, said his driver. Just then, they heard a strange creaking sound. There's your ghost, Henry, smiled the fireman. I think he's chasing us. <coughs> Henry's driver looked closely. It's old Bailey, the fogman. I tried to warn you about that fire dog, old Bailey told them. As he stopped his rusty pump truck. We're sorry we ignored your warning, said Henry's driver. We thought the viaduct was cleared. How can we thank you? I would like to open this old station again, replied Old Bailey. I promise I won't scare Henry anymore. Soon after, Old Bailey's wish was granted. The station opened again with a grand celebration. Instead of a red fogman's coat, Old Bailey wore a blue station master's uniform with a cap. You will be really useful by warning us of any danger, 
said the fire controller. Let's hear a big thank you to the friendliest air ghost on Sodor. Henry whistled happily. He always knew there was no such things as ghosts.